let's go to the actual Nintendo Direct. There was some... Uh, this was actually, I think, kind of a cool idea. It's almost like... Kind of a weird, weird idea. Nintendo World Championship NES Edition. The Nintendo World Championships is heading to the Nintendo Switch system. Take on over 150 speed running challenges from across the yeah, Speed NES run the game. I don't know if, I don't think this will be a very good game, but I think it's a very interesting game. Fast beats. It better, like, if they, if they come out with this, it better be cheap. That's all I can say. Because, I mean, like, these, it does kind of look like fun, like, oh, how can I, I can kind of do, like, these little, little mini games, challenges, you know, from really, uh, from classic games. And they have, actually have online leaderboards. So if you really like speedrunning, I could definitely see this being a cool, uh, cool game to try. I know a lot of people like the, uh, the sort of Battle Royale style, uh, like, F Zero type of things or Super Mario. It is, yeah. I, it does definitely remind me of WarioWare. By the way, hello, Filipino working at CVS. Then say hi to you. In challenges. All right. Like completing Super Mario Brothers in one go using warp pipes. Oh, yeah, so like they give you like you can measure, you can measure your uh, your previous runs. Get, you know, go for a personal best in Mario. That's kind of cool. I got tips to you. Here's a... Oh. Ghost data. Nice. That's like this. This kind of challenge stuff looks pretty fun. Oh, it's coming out July 18th. World Championships, NES edition. Uh, NES edition. Switch, no, it's a, kind of a cool idea. It's not my cup of tea, but I do I do like the idea of like, oh, I could race, you know, in super some of these classic uh, NES games against, you know, Ghost Data or try and like may, make my best run possible of certain pre-orders for the digital version are available now on Nintendo certain Wii parts, Wii. but I don't know how much Oh, let me check the let me check if they mention the uh World Championship NES edition. What the what the price is. Oh, it's sixty dollars. Yeah, that's shit. I would never play uh Oh wait, this is this NES edition, yeah. World Championship NES. They're actually gonna pay charge you 60 bucks for this game i mean the the physical copy actually looks pretty cool they got a bunch of stuff inside of it but the game itself like they got like a classic nintendo what is this, like a lim this isn't like limited run shit is it it kind of looks like a limited run games release but 60 dollars is just too much is the digital version oh let me look up the digital version right here i mean like let's see let me bring it up so you can see what I'm... Let me share. Like, this is, you know, uh, we got this big old cart, and then, you know, have, like, stuff like mouse over this. Can I just expand this? Yeah. Where you got, like, oh, a classic's got, a, like, NES gold-plated, like the old Zeldas, and different, like, books and uh, some sort of stuff. Uh, replica game pack not playable. Guys, you can't just stick it in your Nintendo uh, system. Actually, I wanted to see more of the physical copy stuff, but $60, that's that's too much. Digital, it's a digital, digital download, is that cheap? Is that less money? Oh, okay, okay. $30, okay. Uh, let's see. Bring this up. So the digital version is only 30 bucks. okay. So that's... Not too bad. Not too bad. I wouldn't, you know, $30. So, like, you can, I guess you can get the physical version, which has all the stuff in it for 60 bucks. So, if you're like, you want like a collector edition of it, all right, you got to pay double the amount. But the digital version is uh, only 30 
I could see that. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. I can, I can see people enjoying that. I probably won't play it, but I can see definitely see the speedrunning type really enjoying it. I would have if I could get my switch. I would. Dang it! Why can't I read? I hate these stupid things. I would have the light edition. I would, but I have the light edition. Oh, okay. Oh, you think? Oh, so you so the, the switch light can't connect to uh can't connect to the laptop. I see, because oh, it doesn't have like an HDMI port, like the uh, regular switch. Pixel jacket, Nintendo. <laughs> you make it a gaming channel, Jack. That'd be pretty cool. Let's uh, let's see. Let me go back to the direct. I like the light can't be uh damn that sucks that definitely sucks and so this nes world Ch i thought that was an interesting idea uh, kind of a interesting way to bring your old uh a, a new spin on some of the old classics there was another there's like a bunch of among us oh yeah a bunch of other stuff. Donkey Kong Country Returns, they announced. Turns, HD. Originally released on the Wii system, is barreling onto Nintendo's... I'm not going to talk a huge... I like I liked Donkey Kong Country Returns. It's kind of... Tap tribe has hypnotized the local wildlife and stolen Donkey Kong's precious banana horn. Not my bananas. I always love the soundtrack on Donkey Kong Country. Away, just stomp them. Pound them. And it is looks like a it's a beautiful looking game. The fact that they did such a good job on the backgrounds and stuff is really from manic minecarts. Well, you can just tell by looking at the uh, just looking at the game how alive the 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 stages feel, which I think is really cool. And even hitching a ride on Rambi. There are plenty of transportation methods available. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a buddy for two-player local co-op. Oh yeah, you can play at the same time. Like, let's, like if you look at that, the the silhouette stage, the one where I get just a silhouette was really cool. Damn. Scrub backwards. I can't bring it. I can't scrub to it again. But th that was a, it was a really pretty game. From the Nintendo 3DS version. And they also have levels from 3DS. So that was, that's a really cool, I don't know if I'm going to play it, but it does look, does look really nice. It's a potential. It's a potential. Love me some Donkey Kong Country. Oh, they, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. See, I didn't like Luigi's Mansion 2. It's probably my least favorite of the Luigi Mansions game. Because like the ghosts, they wouldn't like these tile ghosts instead of, you know, ghosts that were, uh, You know, ghosts that were actual like people. I really one of the things I liked about uh, the original Luigi's Mansion was like the ghosts felt like people that were like in a haunted house, and them going with the more like generic style ghosts. Uh, I think lost you lose a little bit of the uh, the fun of it. With goofy ghosts, tricky traps, and other supernatural shenanigans. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD launches on Nintendo Switch June 27th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. <laughs> Good old Luigi. Metal Slug Reloaded. This was actually, I really, uh, they got, I uh, announced, I was like, look, oh, Metal Slug, I like this, but then it's like a tower defense. That was apparently a gotcha game that they sort of like decided, eh, let's make it not gotcha and just release it. Well, kind of neat. Looks kind of neat, but not my thing. And then you have the uh, classic titles are on the the, cl way. the titles they announced were amazing. Four Swords. I love Four Swords. Play Link. Classic 16-bit adventure and team up online to explore randomized dungeons in the Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past. Four Swords. If you got like four people to play with. Always fun me up playing it with my family. The Zero Mission. Experience awesome. Uh, first in awesome game. Zero mission. 
Zero Suit. Was, I, th I think this might have been when they were first had Zero Suit Samus. Nintendo Switch Online Mature, but mature 17 Plus. Never played Turok. Dinosaur Hunter. And of course, you got a classic from Rare, Perfect Dark. Releasing it now, of course, probably to hype up a infiltrate a corporation to end their perfect dark on the uh, perfect dark now with online multiplayer on the Xbox. Oh, it has online. I didn't notice it has online multiplayer too. If you wanted to, I guess you could do that with uh, I, I'm sure Conquer's Bad Fur Day is eventually going to come out on it. Uh, you could, I guess you could do that with uh, GoldenEye too. Though maybe we were just playing it local. I can't remember. I hate like if you go back and play GoldenEye, I hate the fucking controls on it. It's so bad. Like once you get used to like dual stick like aiming. From like Halo, it's like mm, I don't want to go back. Plus expansion pack members later today. I don't want to go back. Hold R to aim, yeah, exactly. I love, I loved the original Phantom Brave. This is actually quite different. Looks quite different. This was like I went through a phase where I loved NIS games, uh, Nippon Itchy Software games like Disgaea. This guy at two. This was Phantom Bray was kind of a different, uh, slightly different RPG, but I always enjoyed it. The uh, the artwork and the uh, the soundtracks of the game were very cool. I don't know if I'll play this game though. <laughs> I love the in this new installment in the Phantom nothing like dubs, but I mean it's really pretty. I like the highly saturated. Uh, like storybook style graphics. And this is this is a more of a strategy game. Of course, NIS software known for Disgaea. They like uh they like the other sort of strategy style games. Turn based battles. Turn based the phantoms you befriended with objects in various ways. Oh yeah. Very similar. They have like have that anime aesthetic too. Combine phantoms with certain objects to maneuver them. Combined with a cannon to attack a large area. A fan to blow enemies around. <laughs> or combine with Morona herself for show-stopping abilities that can turn the tide of battle. Phantom Brave. The very, very anime. Launches on Nintendo Switch next year. It comes out next year. Oh, this was actually a lot of people really like this. This one's going to take you for a ride. <laughs> Seven arcade games featuring Marvel and Capcom characters are fighting their way onto Nintendo Switch as one collection. Clash in X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Duke it out in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. The classic Marvel vs. Capcom. Take down the Kingpin Punisher is a uh, really... Some like old guys that really like old school beat-em-ups really enjoyed the Punisher. the Punisher. And more. So I had a lot of different... Children of Adam, superheroes. Of course, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, probably the uh, probably one of the biggest games on there. A beloved classic. Hit up training mode to polish your fighting skills and combos. At the combo. Select online mode to challenge rivals around the world. And then you can play it. You can play it online. Marvel vs. Capcom online. I don't know how their net code will be, so hard to see. Or play co-op in the oh. future. Being able to play co-op, uh, co-op online is actually pretty cool. Cross over to the museum to view artwork, or listen to music from each game. No, <laughs> the classic. I want to take you for uh... Marvel vs. Capcom <laughs> Fighting Collection Arcade Classics launches on Nintendo Switch. This hey, any game can be brought back. Exactly. Of course, there is like some technical. That Nicholas stuff that uh, you need to work out because honestly, I was playing, I was playing Sonic, uh, or tr sorry, trying to play uh, Sonic Adventure Two on the Steam, and I almost broke something. It's so frustrating to try and get just play a game 
with a controller on Steam sometimes, depending on the port, is uh, a nightmare. It can be done very badly. I hate Mario Party. Mario Party is the worst. Uh, I always get robbed in these games and want to rage uncontrollably. The amount of times that I've been in the lead just to have the my stars stolen at the end, I hate Mario Party. Just hate, hate, hate that game, the entire franchise. This entire franchise is meant to destroy your controllers. It's a conspiracy that Nintendo makes up to sell more controllers. I'm convinced. I'm absolutely convinced. Against your rivals. <laughs> I, I, I've played Mario Party. I just I have nothing but bad memories of Mario Party. Well, I have no idea what this is. Is this like a twenty person? Also, oh, they love I don't, they love battle royales. Up to twenty players can go head to head online in the Coupathlon mode. Oh boy! Compete against your rivals and aim for first place. This does seem uh, your best to come out on top. It's like we gotta like fall guys. We gotta like, fall guys. Mario Party here. That's kind of a cool idea. Wait, there are even more new modes? The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be underway when the Super Mario Party Jamboree game launches on the Nintendo Switch system October. There's some interesting ideas here, but I just I hate Mario Party so much. Hate it. So there's so many bad, so many memories of rage playing with uh, my family. This was. The tale of the sh this was a a game I looked at and like man this looks boring as fuck. But I guess it's meant to be like a. Uh, there's actually a story on this. Let's see, from Dual Shockers, where like this was inspired by COVID. You know when like Animal Crossing was like a huge thing. Uh, you know everyone like was like locked up and then stressed out because. You know, I'm not going to get into my thoughts on government agencies and uh, intentionally making people more stressed up, but let's not go down that path. But As a newcomer to the little haven of Bywater, you just walk around and your neighbors work together to solve problems and even share a meal or three. This kind of looks like a game made for women. That's that's my thought on it, Garden, which isn't a bad thing. You know, some people like, you know, it's just like the nice like hang out and and do stuff type Orange of Bangkok. type of game. The best way to build a Hobbit community is by hosting a dinner party with your homemade dishes. Plus, you can trade with your neighbors for unique decorations or special ingredients for even tastier meals. Friendly Hobbits and familiar faces. What was that? Gandalf? Tales of the Shire. Tales of the Shire. This one just kind of stood out because of that. Uh, then the Ace Attorney collections. Was there another one? No, it was much of Prime. I thought I particularly wanted to talk about, uh, there was an interesting story 